Hey wild things, it's Cypress and I've got a thrift haul to share with you today. So the last time I shared a thrift haul with you, it was massive. Since then, I haven't been doing any earnest thrifting, but as a true thrifter, you can't totally just not. So over the last few weeks, I have been going in occasionally, checking out what's new, browsing. Most of what I found is very fall related, the kind of clothing that you wear or start looking for during fall. Autumn, here we come. All right, we've got outerwear, sweaters, a blouse, dressy stuff, a little lingerie, a little bit of housewares, and one handbag. So kind of a random assortment, but almost all clothing. <laughs> all right, so let me show you the treasures I found. First up, we have this gorgeous faux fur vest. Fever is the brand. It's kind of ironic, I just did a video tour of my fur coat closet and the next time I was in the store I found this. It fits well. The fur is soft, not alarmingly so, but still nice. And then the faux suede is very soft. I initially thought this was going to be more of a playful item, but wearing it, I feel elegant and elevated, maybe even a little mysterious. That actually kind of surprised me because I think of this kind of over the top moment with fur and design as being more playful. I think it really works on a more serious note. So I'll be interested to see how I end up wearing this as time goes on. And then I found this. I'm gonna call it a coat, but a cape might be more appropriate. I mean, <laughs> look at that. There's so much fabric here. It feels woolen. Worthington, what are you made out of? Whoa, it is. So there's a lot going on here. There's hood, the cape action. It does button all the way up. Interestingly enough, I thought I was going to feel more serious in this coat and I picked it up specifically because I have nothing remotely like it. I don't have a woolen cape, but I found putting this on, this felt really playful and silly. I felt like I was trying to dress up to be on the set of Little Women or something. My hair was really tight, still in the curls. I just felt like I was trying to play in some kind of period piece. What are your thoughts on this coat? Does it work serious or is it just silly? This is not going to work for the coldest part of winter. The cape part is just the cape. There's no actual <laughs> sleeves to the coat. It's not going to work. I'm going to have like frostbite all up my arms if I try to do that. But I couldn't pass up this aesthetic for four dollars. Next up we've got sweaters. I almost went by this but it's got just about everything I need. It is extra long, it is a nice black and gray neutral kind of palette with the color. It does have a button so I can close it. It has a hood. It's soft. Nice and warm too. And I just love a long knit sweater like this. I feel like it's a look. It's a real moment. They have a lot of visual impact and so people tend to not wear them, but the visual impact is exactly what I'm going for. I love the way they move. They make me look tall and they just have this presence about them. And so I love to throw on a long sweater like this. I think it, it fits quite well. Oh, Calvin Klein. I guess this month has been the month of finding capes. It's a nice over the shoulder drapey knit shawl kind of thing. I love this gray blue that it's made out of. It is so soft. Then it's like really textured. It's very three dimensional. It's got this lovely fringe. Visually it is just working so hard to make a statement. I'm really not sure why but the ladies at the Salvation Army insisted that this was actually a skirt. 
two problems with that. One, it fits perfectly draped over the shoulders. It fits really weird as a skirt. The knit just doesn't have enough structure and there's nothing in here to stabilize it around the waist. And the other thing, it is so soft and delicate. If you sat on this a couple of times, it would kind of be ruined. It would start felting if you were sitting on it and it would get tangled and worn through very quickly if you were putting the full breadth and weight of your ass into this. So I'm not sure why they thought this was a skirt. I'm not gonna wear it that way. It looks great as a shawl and that's what we're doing. This is by 14th and Union. Never heard of that brand before, but it's quite lovely. And for $4, it was a really unique piece. This is so fun. Yellow and black stripes. The black's kind of black and white here. Again, a long cardigan. I did notice putting it on that the sleeves were really tight on my arms. They're made for somebody really skinny. Pretty Young Thing is the brand. I'm guessing this is Junior's sizing. But I did notice after wearing it for a few minutes that the knit adjusted to my arms. So I will have no trouble wearing this, but it would be nice if they could get around my biceps a little bit easier. It's got good movement, it's sharp, it's unusual. Boy, is it a dingy yellow? Do I even say that? Yeah, I don't know if it goes with my skin tone, but I'm liking it and it's got a lot of good visual impact. That's what we're going for. I have a largely complete functional wardrobe. At this point, I'm basically looking for statement pieces. So I just get to play now. Okay, this next piece, I am in love. It's another yellow one. I was having a yellow day. I don't know what the heck that's about. Denim 24-7. This is a very unusual open knit sweater. Where do I even start? Well, the fringe. I saw this fringe and it's so unusual. I'm like, yep, that's going in my cart. It's long, flowy. The movement on this is something else. Every movement is accentuated. It's fun and playful and it's striking. Of course, the yellow is just, <laughs> what? It's such a loud color. I relish the way that I feel wearing this. So yeah, what do you think of this sweater? It's so different and so loud, but I think loud in a good way. Definitely wouldn't wear this on one of the days I wanna seem invisible. Don't break your tooth on that hanger. All right, this next sweater isn't that super exciting. Can you even see it with my black background here? It is a thin, simple black cardigan. I'm always cold and I layer, 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 layer. And so these thin cardigans work really well under thicker cardigans. Yeah, I layer my sweaters like that. Overall, I'm really happy with it, but I am sad about one thing. I can't button it. It's one of those grunge chic sort of designs. There's a hem and then it's just cut off and there's no seam. I thought this had been mutilated, but I think that's just the design. No Boundaries is the brand. Oh, one thing really irritates me. On something this thin, I don't need a breast pocket. It just messes with the aesthetic lines. I'm not gonna be able to use this pocket, so why is it there? And importantly, why is it only on one side? What is it with asymmetry? We interrupt sweaters to bring you a handbag. I saw this from across the room and I was like, oh. It's very clean other than the bobby pin that I found in here. The details here are so lovely. We've got this interesting it's braiding and that is echoed on the handle. And then inside there's all these different pannier pocket compartments. Oh look, a hook for keys. How handy is that? It's hard to read the name. It's just not very visible. Two words starts with a J and an S. Color wise, it's just a really awkward color. It doesn't go with everything. Like it really clashes with a warm yellow. It looks just fine with earth tones. So I tend to like the slouchy bags. You'd think with my OCD, I'd like something real structured, but I guess I've got a little bit more hippie in me than I thought. All right, back to the sweaters. 
for one last sweater. This is a nice little white and gold long sweater. This would be really good for me to wear underneath the cardigan if we're doing that layering thing. It fits well, it hugs my body nicely. I really don't have a lot of stuff with the sparkly on it. Oddly enough, you'd think I would. Studio Y is the brand on this one. As we've discussed before, it's really hard to find whites that are not dingy. This is in really good shape color-wise. Okay, you're gonna have to help me on the brand name IZ Buyer. It's this lovely little linen top, loose fitting. I've got a little tie closure at the neck here, but of course I'm always happy with these open, especially with such a smaller neckline. The lace detail on the back, please. Yes, yes, this is awesome. One little detail that really really is a nice touch. It's gathered right here at the cleavage. At the center of the neckline, it adds a really cool drapiness to the shirt. So a lot of cool stuff going on here. I don't know who IZ Buyer is, but uh, well done. I found this at a Goodwill for 99 cents. I thought it would be good for maybe filming, going out and picking flowers, but it seems to me that what it's really good for is gathering cats. Yeah, are we, are we going in the, yeah. So I think actually this is gonna end up being a cat bed because they won't stay out of it, but it's got lovely lines. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. My hair is going every which way now. But for 99 cents, I think it's an amazing prop and the cats sure like it. So, you know, that's what matters. All right, we're gonna get a little racy. <laughs> I found this. It's a synthetic fabric that's really soft. I love that fabric. It's so comfy. I think if nothing else, this would be lovely for hanging out around the house. It's a nice moody lingerie. It's not like pink or sweet and innocent. It's got that black and gray and animal stripes. It's got a lot of my personality in it. So I picked it up. As we all know, ladies, lingerie isn't for him. It's for us. So I definitely got this for me. I stand by that decision. What brand is this? Studio Donatella. Alrighty, next up, this one is so fun. We've got a little black dress. It is slinky, it is short. It's got these delightful buckles on the shoulder. They give it this hardness, this little bit of naughtiness. It's got this really nice cowl neck. A lot of things working with this dress that I really like. And as we all know, you gotta have a little black dress. So this is probably gonna serve me very well. I think it's edgy without being too over the top, so I could wear this to just about anything and get away with it. This is Michael Kors, actually, but pretty happy with this classic little black dress. This is nice and slinky, classic lines, very flattering. This detail in the back with these brass buttons are just Mm, that nice little detail, it gives it its own little moment. Actually, they just look brass, they're actually plastic, that's funny. Charming Charlie is the brand. The only thing I'm finding is a struggle with this dress is that this particular material is a deodorant magnet. And I have to be beyond careful putting this on, but it even, yeah. So, very elegant a very useful burgundy alternative to the little black dress. Our last dress is not a dress, it is a skirt. And oh dang, is it a skirt. I don't know that I own a mini skirt. Well, I do now. Oh, Charlotte Russe. I think of Charlotte Russe as a tween shop, a teen shop, even a early 20s. But I don't know, I think this fits pretty nice. I certainly don't want to do any major bending over in it. The color, this sort of mildly iridescent blue animal print. Mmm, yes. Could we get any closer to my personality? I'm not sure. It's pretty amazing. So I found that and I'm pretty happy with it. Now I just get to find somewhere to wear it too. Girls night! And finally, I have a selection of athleisure wear to share with you. So, 
I love velvet lounge pants. I don't understand why people wear sweats, and I don't understand why people wear pajamas at all. Pajamas are not that comfortable. I find them very irritating on my skin. But velour lounge pants, I can wear these all day, every day, and I, well, basically do. <laughs> I make a point of snagging them when I find them, and I found a few. <laughs> so this, on the pant leg here, there's this burgundy cutout sort of thing. That's really not my style. But since I don't wear these out of the house, it's not a big deal. Oddly, the strings are in the inside of the waistband. What brand is this? Gloria Vanderbilt Sport. Nice pair of thick, warm, velvety lounge pants. I also got a brown pair. They do fit a little too roomily in the thighs. They must be some kind of curvy cut. New York Laundry Petite. Oh, that's funny. That explains why they're slightly shorter than the other ones, but I do tend to like that longer leg. And a little nice detail, the tie is a more satiny fabric, and not just like a shoestring. And third and finally, I found a gray pair, and this is just a warm, dark gray, just mm curl up by the fire and sip some hot tea, or better yet, a glass of wine. New York Laundry again. Oh, this one's petite too. That's funny. I didn't notice that when I tried it on. It must be the same person dropped off a lot of these. <laughs> That's okay. You don't want them? I do. <laughs> you know, this is not actually my style. I don't have anything like this. It might come in handy to have a pair of these that I could use as a prop or for a costume. You know, I could see where this would be a great swimsuit cover-up. I almost wonder if these were handmade. No label, but they're fun. But um, I may have some hippie in me. I do not have this much hippie in me. Okay. We're gonna end on a little bit of a sour note here. I love to find barely used sports bras because these are so expensive in real life. I kind of goofed on this one though. There's no tag, I guessed by eyesight. I didn't try this on. Two issues. One, I think it's just too small. I need probably a medium to sometimes a small. This I think is a small to extra small. It really is digging in on my shoulders and that's really uncomfortable. The other thing is there is no real elasticity left in the lower band. It won't stay put where it's supposed to. It's riding up and it feels like I'm gonna pop out the bottom. I think this is just gonna have to get redonated. I'm gonna call this a fail. Is it Champion that has this little insignia here? You know, every once in a while, I have a thrifting fail and I haven't in a really long time. Okay. Yeah. What's going on there, man? Is it lap time? Oh my goodness. He hit an energy wall and he... So that is all the things. Oh, wait, there's one more. I couldn't pass up one more little black cat. This is a cookie cutter. We've got four black cats in this house and I just... So I got a cookie cutter shaped like a little hissing, scary black cat. All right. Yeah, oh, we didn't figure out a grand total. I didn't spend a lot. 20 pieces total for everything. Let's say 40, 50 bucks, maybe. This was four different trips. But seriously, the most expensive item was $4. So, alrighty. That is all the things. What were your favorite pieces? A lot of it was getting ready for cold weather, but some of it not so much. Let me know what you liked and why and what you didn't like and why. And of course, if you like to engage with this video, you can like, comment, share, subscribe, click the bell, and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Wild Things, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing my thrifting treasures with me. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, Keep your shopping wild.
All right, uh, let's, uh, all right, let me share. A video tour. It's kind of. Don't tear those pants up. A straw wrapper in the bottom of this, so whoever had this is killing the sea turtles. But I just realized this could be a really fun jester hat. Hey, 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 hey,